All right, all right. Peace to my YouTube fam, all my Imperial subscribers. What's good with y'all? All right. Um, recently, man, IT shouted shouted me out, man, and uh, he had asked me, he texted me, and uh, asked me what it was um that I used for the coccidia, right? And um, I personally was never a hundred percent sure whether it was coccidia or giardia or whatever the case may be. So. The traditional wisdom is that uh, when you treat for one, you treat for both, right? So, um, this is what I used for the um, for the coccidia. I used Corid 9.6% oral solution, right? And it its main ingredient is something called amprolium, right? See that? Um, All right. So, this is a three milliliter syringe, right? And it's more than sufficient to uh, feed your dog orally the uh, the medications that you're gonna be giving the dog. Um, now, with this syringe, uh, as I mentioned earlier, one milliliter is equal to 100 milligrams, right? So with the Corid, right? With Corid, you're going to be giving your dog five milligrams per pound of body weight. All right, five milligrams per one pound of body weight. So, if you have a 50 pound dog, right, and you're feeding five milligrams per one pound of body weight, five milligrams times 100 pounds of body weight it I'm sorry 50 pounds of body weight is 250 milligrams right so that's 250 milligrams that you'll be feeding your dog of that with the uh, fenbenzadol right with the fenbenzadol you're gonna feed two and a half milligrams per one pound of body weight so it's going to be roughly half the fenbenzadol you're going to be feeding roughly half of what you fed for the cor for the corid right um in addition to that you're going to feed this over a shorter period of time typically you're going to feed your fenbenzadol out over a three to four day period your COVID is going to be more like a five to seven day period, depending upon how you feed it to the dogs. Um, now, there is no law against putting all of the medication in the dog's water at once. For example, Corrid suggests that you put this in the dog's water. I don't do that, right? I use Dine. Um, mixing the Corrid with Dine feeding that and then mixing the Fenbenzadol with Dine and feeding that or administering it orally using the syringe. Normally what I do is I put the Dine in the bottom of their bowl, put the medication right in the midst of that Dine, whip it up and just hand them the bowl and they'll lick the bowl. They lick their bowls clean anyway. They love the taste of the Dine so it does the trick. So those are the measurements that you want to use five milligrams per one pound of body weight for the Corid. 2.3 to 2.5 or two and a half milligrams per one pound of body weight for the Fenbenzadol. All right, keep those measurements now in mind. Now with all of that said, this stuff helped like with the diarrhea immediately. But this, Let's just say, man, I felt like the dogs wasn't still wasn't a hundred percent after having done this, and I pretty much fasted the dogs um, every other day while I gave while I gave this, and uh, on the days when they did not fast, they received nothing but a leg quarter. So now, fast forward, the dogs didn't really start to bounce back until I began to do this, right? coconut oil with black seed oil right and I really wasn't gonna give up the whole game like this 
but the black seed oil off key i know you know about this you want to give at least a cap full of this black seed oil to the dog every day every day pups included right the black seed oil will do wonders for them also the coconut oil i serve one full tablespoon heaping tablespoon of coconut oil to each dog every day like that's it, it, it this was the stuff that really helped them bounce back they wasn't really to their self they bows and all of that and they schedule and everything wasn't back on point till i began to add this and then of course probiotics right you add the sauerkraut and the, and especially the juice in here for your probiotics right so there are other probiotics you can use some people use yogurt that's fine as well but um for my purposes i like the sauerkraut because i mix it in with the vegetables and then i have these hip and joint solutions i use this because of the main ingredient in this joint which is glucosamine glucosamine helps to coat the stomach helps to coat the the, the, the stomach lining so this is this this combination of stuff here you know after i finished with this after i finished with the medications you know this is what really brought the dogs back especially Raina. once i i combined this coconut oil with the black seed oil and the uh the sauerkraut and the, and the glucosamine like all her um in fact, I fasted her after that and fed her nothing but this. And then all that blood that was coming, you know, coming out, out, of, out of her stool after the fact, man, was like, psh, was gone. It was done. It was over. So this was the solution, man. This is, this is what, we, what we used to make it happen, man. Um, y'all got any questions? Y'all know how we do, man. Leave them in the comments, man. Hit me up, man. And we'll, we'll definitely get back at it again. This is your boy, Ray Imperial. This has been another edition of the Imperial Diaries. And this is what it takes to bring your dog back from the coccidia. Coccidia and, and, and the motherfucking um, giardia, right? So just keep in mind that this is, this is milliliters. If this is one milliliter, you have 100 milligrams in one milliliter. Gradually over a period of days this way the dog doesn't chuck it back up because none of this stuff is good also i should say the way i served this was with a health healthy healthy dose of dye right so with the cord you normally mix it with water or the instructions are to mix it with water most dogs don't like to taste the cord they're going to reject it it's going to cause a problem so what I did was, I put this, uh, I put the dine in the bottom of a bowl and just put their, their, uh, their dosage of medicine right into the dine. Now you don't give both at the same time. You don't mix these two medications. You're gonna feed your Corid, make sure they consume that, then feed your Fenbenzadol, make sure they consume that. In both cases, you can just mix it with a healthy, I would say, um, maybe two tablespoons or more of this dime two to four tablespoons of dime and uh you know take your syringe pull out your cord squirt it right into squirt right into your uh two two to four tablespoons of dime mix that in real good for them give it to them just like that and do the same thing with your fembenzadol extract your fembenzadol with your syringe and uh Put that into your uh, two to four tablespoons of dine. And let them go ahead and consume. Right. So if you got any other questions, man, feel free to get at me. And remember, remember this this joint right here is the key to the game. You know what I mean? You combine this with your coconut oil. Now you have the beginnings of a serious dog man stew. And I can't give y'all no more than that. I'm out. Peace.